Hey, it's Stephen Lewis. Like, follow, at Stephen on the air. And I uh, won't get too spoilery because it's in theaters now and you'll get a chance to see it this weekend. But let's get into a little Thor love and thunder, shall we? Uh, I'll be honest, right off the get-go, like the movie a lot. It's not quite as good as Ragnarok was to me. But then again, Ragnarok is one of my favorite Marvel movies. So the bar is set kind of high. That being said, uh, Taika Waititi is back as the director. And the tone of Ragnarok is definitely there in this. We get the quick update of what Thor has been doing with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, my disappointment for me, the Guardians are basically reduced to a cameo. Most of what you've seen in the trailers, I wish they'd do a movie with just Thor and the Asgardians of the Galaxy. But nonetheless, we do get a pretty cool story. I uh, love Christian Bale a lot. Uh, he's probably one of my favorite Marvel villains. I won't spoil the end with it, but I like his backstory. I like what they did with him. A lot of people say he doesn't quite look the way he did in the comic, but I think it worked cool. It was just a, he was a fun villain and he looked really good. There was just a lot to it. As far as the Marvel villains go, obviously he's no Thanos, but Gore the God Butcher is definitely a welcome addition there. Uh, we get to see Thor uh, back with Jane, and they take this right out of the comic. Now, I'm not super familiar with the overall storyline, but I do know that Jane Foster in the comic is also the female mighty Thor, and where they go with this is spot on to the way that comic storyline goes. Uh, the action is fun, the Thor comedy is there, Korg is hilarious as he has been the last couple of times we've seen him, and uh, we get a good chemistry between Tessa Thompson, a.k.a. Valkyrie and Chris Hemsworth's Thor. A lot of that worked. The overall story worked. It borrows a little bit of Batman Returns. I won't tell you how, but you'll see it and you'll kind of think it seems familiar. Uh, but I liked a lot of it. We got to see uh, some places we haven't been to yet in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And we also got uh, Russell Crowe as Zeus. We started introducing other gods. With Doctor Strange, we've introduced the multiverse. Now with Thor, we're introducing other god verses, so to speak. Uh, my only problem with Russell Crowe, I wish they would have just let him use his real accent. I didn't like the accent he was doing. I found that distracting. His take on Zeus was entertaining. I just didn't like the accent, but judge that for yourself. I do like where they're going with it, and Ted Lasso fans will be happy when you stick around for the end credits because they do bring a certain character into this. I won't spoil it yet, and he looks spot on. We only get a glimpse, but he looks pretty cool. Uh, the overall story is good. It's got heart. It's got humor, and it's another good entry into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. My only problem is they haven't quite set up that bigger storyline yet. You know, with Doctor Strange, we introduced the multiverse, but we didn't really see where we're going overall. You know, if you think back, it was by now we started seeing some of the Infinity Stones pop up and we kind of figured out what the overall game plan was. We haven't got there yet. That doesn't make this a bad movie. It just piques my curiosity as to what's happening uh, in the next phase. And we definitely will get to see another phase of Thor because once again... They've evolved the character from typical superhero godlike character to dad bod Thor in Avengers Endgame to now, you know, he's Thor trying to find himself and where he goes from here uh, looks to be entertaining as well. So check it out. Draw your own conclusions. Uh, I liked it a lot. Again, it's not quite Ragnarok for me, but I definitely enjoyed Love and Thunder. Hopefully you do too. Give me the like, give me the follow at Stephen Lewis on the air, and we'll catch up in a spoilerific way. Uh, sometime early next week. Thank you, and remember, down in front.